Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about formation, course and termination of thoracic duct. Thoracic duct begins as an upward continuation of cisterna chile. Cisterna chile is dilated lymphatic sac which is present in front of L1, L2 vertebrae. Thoracic duct begins near the lower border of T2 L vertebra. It then enters the thorax by passing through aortic opening of the diaphragm. It ascends within the posterior mediastinum from T2 L vertebra to T5 vertebra. At the level of T5 vertebra, it crosses the midline from right side to left side and it then ascends within the superior mediastinum along the left edge of the esophagus and reaches the root of the neck. In the neck, at the level of C7 vertebra, it arches laterally. Finally, it descends in front of first part of left subclavian artery and ends by opening into the junction between left subclavian vein and left internal jugular vein. It begins as the upward continuation of cisterna chile. It enters thorax by passing through aortic opening of the diaphragm. It ascends through posterior mediastinum and then it ascends through superior mediastinum and reaches the root of the neck. In the neck, it arches laterally at the level of C7 and finally descends in front of first part of left subclavian artery and opens at the junction of left subclavian vein and left internal jugular wing.